Let's turn now to what happened in the President's vehicle when the Secret Service told him he would not be going to the Capitol after his speech. Tony proceeded to tell me that when the President got in the beast, he was under the impression from Mr. Meadows that the off-the-record movement to the Capitol was still possible and likely to happen, but that Bobby had more information. So once the President had gotten into the vehicle with Bobby, he thought that they were going up to the Capitol, and when Bobby had relayed to him, we're not, we don't have the assets to do it, it's not secure, we're going back to the West Wing. The President had very strong, a very angry response to that. Um, Tony described him as being irate. The President said something to the effect of, I'm the effing President, take me up to the Capitol now. To which Bobby responded, sir, we have to go back to the West Wing. The President reached up towards the front of the vehicle to grab at the steering wheel. Mr. Engel grabbed his arm, said, sir, you need to take your hand off the steering wheel. We're going back to the West Wing. We're not going to the Capitol. Mr. Trump then used his free hand to lunge towards Bobby Engel. And Mr. when Mr. Renato had recounted this story to me, he had motioned towards his clavicles. And was Mr. Engel in the room as Mr. Renato told you this story? He was. Did Mr. Engel correct or disagree with any part of the story from Mr. Ornato? Mr. Engel did not correct or disagree with any part of the story. The physical altercation that Ms. Hutchinson described in the presidential vehicle was not the first time that the president had become very angry about issues relating to the election. On December 1, 2020, Attorney General Barr said in an interview that the Department of Justice had not found evidence of widespread election fraud sufficient to change the outcome of the election. Ms. Hutchinson, how did the President react to hearing that news? After Mark had returned, I left the office and went down to the dining room, and I noticed that the door was propped open and the valet was inside the dining room changing the tablecloth off of the dining room table. He motioned for me to come in and then pointed towards the front of the room near the fireplace mantle and the TV, where I first noticed there was ketchup dripping down the wall, and there's a shattered porcelain plate on the floor. The valet had articulated that the president was extremely angry at the attorney general's AP interview and had thrown his lunch against the wall, um, which was causing them to have to clean up, so I, I grabbed a towel and started wiping the ketchup off of the wall to help the valet out. Um, and he said something to the effect of, he's really ticked off about this. I, I would stay clear of him for right now. He, he's really, really ticked off about this right now. And you told us, Ms. Hutchinson, about particular comments that you heard while you were in the tent area. When we were in the off stage, announce area tent behind the stage. He was very concerned about the shot, meaning the photograph that we would get because the rally space wasn't full. Um, one of the reasons, which I've previously stated, was because he wanted it to be full and for people to not feel excluded because they'd come far to watch him at the rally. Um, and he felt the mags were at fault for not letting everybody in. But another leading reason, and likely the primary reason is because he wanted it full and he was angry at that we weren't letting people through the mags with weapons, what the Secret Service deems as weapons and our, our weapons. <laughs> but when we were in the offstage announced tent, I was part of a conversation. I was, in the, I was in the vicinity of a conversation where I overheard the president say something to the effect of, you know, I, I don't effing care that they have weapons. They're not here to hurt me. Take the effing mags away let my people in, they can march to the Capitol from here, let the people in, take the effing mags away. Just to be clear, Ms. Hutchinson, is it your understanding that the president wanted to take the mags away and said that the armed individuals were not there to hurt him? That's a fair assessment. 
The issue wasn't with the amount of space available in the official rally area uh, only, but instead that people did not want to have to go through the mags. Let's listen to a portion of what you told us about that. In this particular instance, it wasn't the capacity of our space, it was the mags and the people that didn't want to come through. And that's what Tony had been trying to relay to him that morning. You know, it's not the issues that we encountered on the campaign. We have enough space, sir. They don't want to come in right now. They they have weapons that they don't want confiscated by the Secret Service, and they're fine on the mall. They can see you on the mall, and they're, they want to march straight to the Capitol from the mall. The president apparently wanted all attendees inside the official rally space and repeatedly said, quote, they're not here to hurt me. And, and just to, to be clear, so um, he was told again in that conversation, or was he told again in that conversation that people couldn't come through the mags because they had weapons? Correct. And um, that people, and he, his response was to say they can march to the Capitol from, in, from the ellipse. Something to the effect of take the effing mags away, they're not here to hurt me, let them in, let my people in. They can march to the Capitol after the rally's over. They can march from they can march from the ellipse. Take the effing mags away. Then they can march to the Capitol. 